I want to start working on the roles, pages, and functionality on stuff. So to start that, we actually already have a uh, controller for it. Okay, so if we go in all the way into admins role controller, as you can see, we have it here. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is create a route for it. So we'll head over to routes web.php and right under the dashboard route. Okay, let me move this up so we can see this a bit better. Okay, so it'll be route. We're going to prefix these routes with roles. Okay, we don't need any middleware or anything because we're already surrounding the whole, all of our admin routes in this middleware. Okay, so name, say roles dash, or dot, sorry, roles dot, and then we'll say group, we'll add function, some curly bra brackets, open that up, and then the first route we're going to do is route get slash and then we'll add the controller in here so it's role controller class and then we'll say index that's the function we'll be using to display our roles and then at the end we'll just call it name index okay let's now forget our semicolon and then let's go up top make sure that our our role controller has been imported up here okay so now let's head over back into the controller so role controller and then in our index method all we need to do is render a page so return render or sorry, return inertia render admin, that's the name of the folder, roles, that's the name of the folder that that's going to be in, and then index. Okay, so we'll open up some brackets here because we're going to need to display an array of information. So we'll just say roles equals, and we'll do role all. Okay, and let's make sure, well, everything's already imported, so we're good. So let's go ahead and make this page. So we'll head down to Resources, JS, Pages, and we already have an admin folder here. So we'll just add roles slash index.view. And then now in this page we'll just say HTML uh, we'll do h1 roles and then we'll add uh, our JavaScript we also need to make sure that we um, bring in the props so props roles Okay, now in our layout, uh, let's see, components, it's in the sidebar. We'll be able to head to that inertia link. Okay, and now we can change this up and add semicolon href equals, and then it'll be route. parentheses admins or admin dot roles dot index and then we'll also bind a some classes to this as well okay so I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here but essentially if this is the current root admin roles anything under the roles folder or the roles portion of it will have the text gray 50 background gray 500 and if it's not then when we hover we can just change the background and the text so just like we had for um for this one except it's now a bound class okay and while we're here we can also 
add this link because this is just going to go back to the basic user dashboard. So we'll say route dashboard. Okay, so let's make sure we didn't break anything. We'll head into the browser, we'll refresh. Okay, and we click the drop down, we hover. You see now we have our hover state for that rolls. And if you look left, we have the route to it. So we'll click it. Okay, and now we're at rolls, admin rolls. Fantastic. So if we head back to VS Code or whatever text editor you're using, and let's say we go to our dashboard page okay let's go ahead and just uh we can just copy all this for now and then we'll take out what we don't need so back to the index page okay and we need to add our props here uh, which is roles and then we head up top and now this is just going to say roles, okay? And also in here, we're going to have a button, which I'm going to create some components for that in a bit as well. But it's, it's just going to be a button. Okay, and in the button, it's going to say create. And now this, we are actually going to put in a div with the class of flex, justify between an items center. Okay, we'll open that up. And then uh, these will just pick up and move up to the top. So, okay, so let's just make sure we didn't break anything. Let's go back. We'll refresh. Okay, and now you see we have our title and we have our button, which we're going to do now. Okay, so let's head back to the text editor. And in the components, we're going to create two files. One will be blue button dot view and the other one will be green button dot view and if you guys have watched my videos before I like to separate these into their own components because we're going to be using them in a bunch of different places so let's start with the blue one and in here we're just going to paste in a bunch of code Okay, all this is doing is giving us a button class with a type of type, and that type is coming in as a prop. So the default is button. Um, on the front end, depending on whether we're using it as a button or a link, this will come in handy. Okay, so it just has text small, just a bunch of different styling on it. And then um, there's also this href. So that's in case we decide to use this blue button also as a link. Once we click it, it'll trigger the visit method. And if you come down to the methods, the visit, if it's not this dot href, if so meaning if it's not a link, then just return. And if it is, then event prevent default, this inertia visit dot this dot href. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same for the green button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And it's the exact same thing. The only difference is now the color is green. We can actually take out this text sizing because we are going to manually put it on the on the pages themselves. So we can do that for the blue button as well. Come up and get rid of that. And as usual, I will be posting all of this code up to GitHub so you can see it and get a better better look at it. Okay, so let's head back to the index page. And now this button will be a blue button. Okay, so we'll change that here. So blue button, and it's going to have the class of text small. And then it's also going to have an href, because this one's going to take us to our create page, equals route 
admin well we don't have the route set up yet so we'll just leave it as a hashtag so hash and get rid of this and let's make sure we import this blue button component go ahead down to the bottom import blue button from at components blue button okay and now under here we need to bring that in here so blue button okay let's head back to the browser and make sure that that's coming in the way it's supposed to so we'll refresh it's got a hover state fantastic let's head back to the code and continue on so now if we come up to where this lorem ipsum tags are the script we can go ahead and get rid of that and we are gonna add a table class we'll open that up and then we'll give it a class of table auto and width full now this is something relatively new in uh, tailwind uh, you can check out their documentation to read up more on it. it it's 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 a basic table with basic styling um, so that's what we're going to be using so the first thing we need here is the t head open that up and then we need a t row open that up and then we need three th components let's see th we'll just do it the old-fashioned way so th with the class of text left pl3 and inside it's going to be a name name and we'll close off that tag okay and then we will go ahead and copy paste this two more times this is going to be the same this is going to be created this is going to be text right this is going to be pr3 and then we'll just say actions Okay, now under the T body, we're gonna have, or the T head, we're gonna have a T body. Open that up. We're gonna have a TR. Open that up. And the classes on here are gonna be text center and we'll give it hover state so hover bg gray is 600 hover text gray is 50 and then this row is actually going to be um it's going to be a v4 loop so v4 put it in parentheses roll index in roles we'll give it a key of index and then down here we'll have three tds and the first one is going to have a class of text left capitalize going to be py3 pl3 and then here we're going to add some curly brackets and it's going to be role name okay so you know what instead of doing these like this i'm going to copy and paste this one so copy paste paste okay so this is also going to be text left this is not going to be capitalized 
and then this one is going to be role created at this one is just going to have a py of three and in it we're going to have another div with the class of flex justify end dr3 open that up and then since we have that green button component okay we can just go ahead and use it here so green button we're just going to say edit in here and here we're going to put um we don't have the h tag yet but or the href but we can just put a hashtag to remind ourselves the class equals text small and then let's make sure that we import this button so copy paste copy paste comma and this will be green now if we scroll back up under this green button we are also gonna have a delete button but we don't have any functionality for it yet so I'm just gonna um, just put the button or put the form in here anyway for now and then we'll fill it out we'll create the method and everything when we get to it okay so we'll open this up and then we're going to be using a uh, Jetstream's danger button and it's going to say delete and then it'll be a type of submit in the class we'll just have text small and ml one let's make sure that we import this danger button so we'll head down here and we'll say import jet danger button from at jetstream danger button and then we'll bring in the component down here so danger button okay now if this is your first time with me and you've not seen how to do this before and you're not sure of where this danger button's coming from in the JS uh, Jetstream folder you can head down to the danger button it's got a whole bunch of different components that we're using um, and it already has uh, this one set up okay so we don't have to create a new component for that so why don't we close this this and this okay so let's go back to the browser and make sure that we see that so we'll refresh okay and we have our table we have our hover state a um, couple more things I want to change first things first I want to change the background on every other field I want to change that so it's a different color just to sort of give it a little distinction in the in the table so we'll go back to the VS code and then we'll head over to our uh, T row right in here so to get this to work correctly we need to go to this opening tag the TR tag and then we need to render a new class so equals and we'll put some quotations some curly brackets and then we'll say it's BG gray 300 index 2 equals 0 and what this will do is it'll just render every other color okay every other color starting from 0 the BG gray 300 okay so we'll go back we'll refresh okay and now you see we have a nice little alternate background for every other every other level starting at the zero index okay the other thing I want to do is make this date 
more user friendly. Okay, so let's head back into the VS Code and we need to do this through the role model. Okay, and the reason we're doing it here is because we're going to just attach it to the role so that we can use this created at anywhere in the app. Okay, and how you would do that is you would change or you would add, you can do it right under here, protected casts equals and this is in the Laravel documentation to figure out the different ways you can change this and uh, other things that you can also put in this casts okay it's under I think it's under mutations or something like that in the documentation so create it at that's the field we need to change and we're going to display it by saying date time and now it's going to be small d large m large y and this is just p this is just regular php uh time time stamps okay so go back we'll refresh okay and now it's more user friendly so we have the date the day of the week the month and the year at the end and if you want to change that like i said it's in the laravel documentation this is also in the carbon documentation uh in in how to change these okay i'm gonna leave it there for now in the next episode we are going to start building out some of the functionality for these buttons so the create button and then we'll work on the edit and the uh, delete functionalities after that okay uh, i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna push everything up to github if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and i'll try to get to them as quickly as i can thanks for watching and i will see you next time